So I'm working on shelves that are going to go right here in my kitchen. And I wanted some corbels. So I don't have any corbels. I don't have a corbel pattern. What I did is trace my little coffee can. And then I scooted it straight down and traced it again. And then I folded the paper to where I wanted the um, corners to go. And then in order to make sure that that was the right size, I brought it over here. And I can see it in proportion. It's about three bricks high. I can see it how it's going to turn out in proportion to my shelves. So that is exactly what I need. And I'm going to cut this out and trace it on a piece of wood, cut it out with my jigsaw, and sand it smooth. So I have my shelves. I've been sanding on them all day. If you don't have an eye for how big your corbels need to be, this turned out to be roughly one half of the width. And when I lay it up here, it's about two thirds of the top. So if you wanted to measure, you just measure two thirds up and one half on the side and that would give you how long would be the two-thirds and how wide would be the one-half. To me, that looks good. If you wanted it a little longer so that it stuck out to about right here, then you could certainly do that. In fact, I kind of like that better. So I'm going to fold this paper out that I had folded under and see if that's better and I think it is so that's how big I'm going to make them let me go get my scrap wood okay I have this scrap wood here and really this is already kind of started for me and um, the man that the people that we bought our house were from the man was a cabinet maker so we had all kinds of scrap wood here and I'm going to use it for the corbels for these shelves. Now, yes, it is a different color. It's about the color of my um, countertops, but I do have some of that color running through my wood grain, and I am going to use a little stain to touch on the front to get a little more variation, like what I have down here. So I will just run a little bit of stain on the grain of the wood and that'll give me a little more variation and actually I think I'm going to whitewash these and distress them so that'll help with the matching as well. All right I'm going to hold it down and trace it using a marker and then I will know to cut on the inside edge of the marker. It's really hard to do this and hold the camera, so we'll pause. Okay, so I've got that traced. I had to come in a little on this side because you want to make sure that your straight lines are lined up with the straight grain of the wood. And then, I mean, honestly, this wood just happened to be laying around. You might have to do a little more work, but I have enough space on my wood, and if you had a whole sheet, it wouldn't be a problem. I have enough space just to flip my other corbel around and trace it right next to the one I just did. So I have my first set of corbels. Um, even if I'm off a little with my wood grain, which I don't believe I am, it won't matter because I am going to whitewash these and it won't be so noticeable. Just have yourself a little chicken break. I fixed my swing. So it's beautiful again. It needs to be sealed. That platform is where I had my bees. My land has nothing for bees. I gave the beehives to, or the bee boxes to my dad. 
and hopefully he'll get some bees, some wild bees this year, because he has lots of bees on his property. And then maybe we'll have some vegetation for bees a little later on. All right, so I'm just going to repeat this process, and then I'm going to cut it out with my jigsaw. And I just realized even better is to line these up on the top and the side. So all you have to do is cut the design. Then when you flip this one, you'll line it up on the bottom and the side. Especially if you're not using scrap wood, everything you get from the store should be relatively straight. <laughs> My jigsaw is very old. And this wood is very old. And this is as far as I've gotten. And it will not stay on a straight line. So... It's going to be a very long time to jigsaw these, and I'm going to have to do it because I don't have any other recourse. So um, I'm going to jigsaw them and sand them, and then I will show them to you in the next video. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot.